I, I mean, I am a little surprised that Tony Pacelli didn't get in this time. It's a little surprising. Uh, you know, and, 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 I, and I, Paul, I did an interview about this the other day with uh, Leon Search and those guys in Jacksonville. It's a matter of time. You know, I, I, I came in the league in 93. And then by 94, and Dallas had those real good lines, and then Eric Williams got hurt. And they, they had Eric Williams and Tony on both sides. But that was the best line in football. You had Larry Allen come in the next year, and Nate Newton and those guys, Stepnowski. But when I came in 94, 95, I was offensive lineman of the year in the NFC, back-to-back years, and uh, had some real good years, all pro, and then first-team all pro. And I thought I had took over, and I, and I was the best. And then our team started losing, and I slipped in 97. And at that time, I felt like Buscelli, when he came in after that first year, I felt like he was, you know, Jacksonville was winning, expensive team. I felt like he was the best lineman in football, so the best tackle in football. And uh, for that for that stretch, it wasn't long. You can kind of compare it to what happened with J.J. Watts. But from that stretch, for that four- or five-year stretch that he, from the mid-'90s till about 2000, I thought that uh, that uh, that that, uh, that Tony Baselli was the best tackle in football. You know, I know it was short short lived, and right. when I had a ch- when he had a chance to go in the expansion draft, and I was trying to get in the expansion draft in '02 uh, after the '01 season, he was coming off a knee, and I was coming off a knee, and he had both of those labrum uh, tears too. And uh, uh, Charlie Castley said they weren't going to take anybody over thirty in the draft, and they ended up taking Baselli, and he. He made a lot of money that next year, and he never played. So, you know, those last two years, 01 and 02, he really didn't play a lot of football. So, really, you're judging him off 95 to 2000 is what mm-hmm. you're judging for the Hall. But, like I said, for that stretch, I feel like he's the best tackle in football. And I also, Fred Taylor, another guy yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who put up, you know, with those Jacksonville teams, you know, Br- Brunel and – Jimmy Smith and those guys. But Fred Taylor put up a lot of yards, put up a lot of numbers. And he's having a, he, you know, I, I don't know if, I mean, I, I'm assuming at some point he'll get in, 